Okay, welcome everybody. We are going to look into data integrity risks when using simple feature. Uh, we have this setup. You have a database with simple features. You have an API, and over that API, you load simple features. This is a setup which, which is dangerous related to, post, uh, to database integrity. But first, let's look at another format. Simple spreadsheets. Everybody knows spreadsheets. And you have it in your database, you create an API, and then you upload spreadsheets. This looks very promising. Why? Because spreadsheets are known by almost every system in the world. But there's a problem with spreadsheets. They only know about themselves. So if you have students in class, and you want one student per class per hour, which sounds uh, OK, then you get silent database corruption. Because if you try to open thousands of spreadsheets, find the equal name, it does use a lot of CPU, and it's not a nice way to work it. In 1970, this guy, Cod, wrote a paper which totally changed the database industry about how to use relational database models for large shared data. IBM has to switch this technology about how they store data in a database. That also changed the way of thinking about APIs. Now you create an API where you have a student, you have a class, and you have a relation between student and class. And you create an API, create student, create a class, and add student by ref, and by, by ref both for class and student. Well, back to the 1970s. For simple feature, we still live in this world. We load simple feature onto database by an API. The problem with simple feature is that they only know about themselves. But uh, what's nice with them is that they are very easy to use. Almost any client in the world can upload them. But when you start to load more simple features, it's impossible to actually keep the database consistent. Because to find equal edges, when you buy thousands of simple features, it's impossible. But you may see that there's a relation between the border and a surface, just as there is a relation between student and class. So why, why have we not done this in our spatial world? I don't understand it. If you look at, and another thing is the business logic. You will have a lot of attributes defined by the client, so you have to make a big backend service to control everything. About uh, the easiness, some say it's easy to find equal edges. This is Korean Land Cover 2018. We delivered a simple feature data set to the European community without any gaps, and without any overlaps. When they get it back, there are overlaps in Norway, and there are overlaps all the way around Europe. That's because they use simple feature. They have not mapped any borders to, any borders to the surfaces. A border is maybe used by two surfaces. We are going to continue with this at 12 o'clock. Dive more into details here. Then Sandra Santelli and Mattia will join us, and we will talk more about how Postgres topology can solve these problems. Thanks. Thank you.